Hello dear students, in this uh, session we are going to derive an expression for capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. We will see what is a parallel plate capacitor. In a parallel plate capacitor there will be two parallel metal, metal plates okay, separated by a small distance. So we have considered two parallel metal plates here. The separation between the plates, let it be small letter d. Area of cross section of each plate is a. Say the charge, charge in one plate is plus Q and the charge in another plate is minus Q. Say the surface charge density is of first plate is plus sigma, surface charge density of the second plate is minus sigma. Okay. And between the plates there is some electric field, this electric field let it be E. Now we have to derive expression for capacitance. Okay. So according to definition, what is the... Uh, what is capacitance? Capacitance is equal to Q by V. Correct now. So that means we have to find the potential difference between those two plates. Okay. So for potential difference we have V is equal to E into D. Correct now. Hope you know. E equal to dV by dr. V by D. V is equal to E into D. Means we have to find out electric field. First step you should remember this. We have to find electric field. Electric field between the plates. Okay. Electric field between the plates is equal to that means if you if you consider a point okay if you consider a point in between so here you have considered a point okay at this point due to this plate in this plate there are only positive charges okay there are only positive charges electric field is away from the positive charge due to positively charged plate okay electric field is in this direction here there are negative charges electric field is towards negative charge due to this plate negatively charged plate also the electric field is in the same direction okay that means this plate positively charged plate is producing some electric field negatively charged plate is also producing some electric field here at this point those two are assisting each other we have to add those two electric fields because they are in the same direction because field is away from the positive charge field is towards the negative charge so total electric field is equal to electric field due to plate A plus electric field due to plate B. Okay. So what is electric field due to plate A? That is sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught. Because in parallel plate capacitor, the separation between the two plates is very small. Okay. Electric field due to infinite plane sheet of charge we have derived. What is that? Sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught. Field due to one plate. Field due to another plate is also sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught. So what happened? Total electric field is equal to half plus half 1 sigma divided by epsilon naught. Now, what is sigma? Sigma means surface charge density. Surface charge density means what? Charge per unit area. Q by A. Q by A epsilon naught. Here area of cross section is A. Charge is Q. Okay. Now what is V? We will find out V. What is V? V is equal to V is equal to E into D. Correct now. Electric field into distance. Okay. Electric field. What is electric field? Q. QD divided by A epsilon naught. So we got the potential difference. Now we will calculate the capacitance. What is capacitance? Here we have written capacitance equal to Q by V. Okay. I will delete it. Okay. Capacitance equal to Q by V. Capacitance is equal to Q by V. Okay, so that is equal to Q divided by V. What is V? QD divided by A epsilon naught. QD divided by A epsilon naught. All, or I'll write here multiplied by A epsilon naught. So what happens? Q, Q gets cancelled. Capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is equal to epsilon naught A by D. Capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is equal to epsilon naught A by D. Hope you understood this. Thank you very much.